I wonder, um, 10 years ago, you already did a documentary film about Hugh Hefner. So what, what made you come back to, to Hugh Hefner? Why a second film? Well, it's, it's interesting. When we did the first film, which was really about the two sides, the paradox of Hugh Hefner, because he is a very paradoxical man, the playboy and the activist, the two sides. Um, my husband and I, we took it around you know, various places, various festivals, and found that young people in particular, we had a few clips of the shows that Hugh Hefner did, where people really enjoyed them and wanted to know more about them. And um, my husband, who always watched the film all the time, Victor Solnicki, um, in, the, in the audience, um, he thought it would make a really nice uh, second documentary if uh, Mr. Hefner would allow us the rights to do it. And so we approached him, and uh, Mr. Hefner, and uh, he told him what we wanted to do. He wanted, always likes to see a treatment. We showed him our treatment. He loved it, and he said, sure, go ahead, gave us the rights for it. It took actually two years to do the rights. My husband was a lawyer as well, so he had to negotiate all of that. But in the end, you know, we got everything signed, and we began making the film. And this one is only about the shows and the people on the shows. And Hugh Hefner wanted to do and started these shows because things were happening in America that he was not happy about. Um, freedom of speech, which is something that he so very much believes in. Oh, um, the Un-American Activities Committee, the effects of that was lingering in America for many years. And people, activists, were not really given a platform to speak. So he gave them a platform. Civil rights, freedom of speech against the Vietnamese war, all of those issues.